Well, it didn't take too long. Kanye West is back in the news. Kanye West says he likes Jewish people again after watching Jonah Hill in 21 Jump Street. If you don't remember, Kanye West, or I guess Ye as he was known at the time, said some less than favorable things about Jewish people on the Infowars show with Alex Jones. Now he's completely flipped script again, so let's see what he has to say. Kanye West said he was renouncing anti-Semitism in a new Instagram post on Saturday in which he wrote that after watching actor Jonah Hill in the film 21 Jump Street, it made him like Jewish people again. The rapper, known formally as Ye, has shocked and alarmed former supporters in recent months with a series of threats against Jewish people that drove sportwear giant Adidas and other fashion houses to dump him and saw him locked out of most social media platforms. It appeared to be an attempt to reverse his earlier declarations of love for Nazis and admiration for Adolf Hitler. So, uh, yeah. I hope that he doesn't think Jewish people are some kind of entertainment caricature, because it seems like when bad things happen to him as the result of potentially Jewish people, he doesn't like anybody who's Jewish. But when he sees Jonah Hill play a Jewish person in 21 Jump Street and it's something that he enjoys, then suddenly he likes all Jewish people again. I'm not sure if this is some kind of thing that he has going on in his head, where he just can't see people as individuals, he has to see them as groups, but this just seems like that's exactly what that is. Although he said, no one should take anger against one or two individuals and transform that into hatred towards millions of innocent people, so who knows if he's sincere with that or if he's just trying to backpedal. I think maybe if he had backpedaled this kind of stuff immediately it would have been insincere but maybe he's had time to think and reflect on that kind of stuff he also said no christian can be labeled anti-semite knowing jesus is jew thank you jonah hill i love you i thought that was interesting because well yes jesus is jewish by the way christianity isn't a white man's religion if you didn't know um and kanye claimed to be a christian and he's black so you know there you go but Knowing that Jesus is a Jew doesn't mean you can't be anti-Semitic. You could say things that are anti-Semitic, sure. And anti-Semitism doesn't just apply to Jewish people, it's all the Semitic peoples. But I can see where he's going with that. I think it's not the knowing that Jesus is a Jew, though, as a Christian that makes you not anti-Semite. It's the fact that Christians are commanded to love all people. So if you actually follow that command and you love all people, then you're just not going to be an anti-Semite. Some social media users appeared to greet the declaration with humor, but many were not buying it. And somebody wrote, it doesn't work that way, Kanye. Damage is already done. The seeds of hate you planted already sprouted. While it's true that these seeds of hate sprouted already, I think that this is indicative of modern society when this person is completely unable to forgive or to accept redemption of anybody. So Kanye West has some terrible things in the past, He's trying to make up for it, but everybody says, no, it's not good enough. Well, if you know anything about Kanye, then you'll know that he was at least recently a Christian. I don't know if he still is. It seems like he is, considering what he said here. But then if you know about Christianity and you read about Christianity, you know that it's not about discrimination between peoples. Of course, it's not about hating one person or a group or anything like that. We're supposed to love everybody, of course. But it's also about redemption. You know, people aren't born as a blank slate, or they're not born inherently good, according to Christianity. People are born inherently bad, and they lead bad lives overall. You might do good things, but you're also going to do bad things. You're not perfect. And so, regardless of what bad things you do, whether it's one thing or a million things, everybody needs redemption because nobody's perfect. So... You know, Kanye might be redeemed in the end of times, uh, when judgment comes at the end, as Christians believe, but I'd be willing to redeem him uh, here on earth before the end of time. Um, because, you know, that's what Christ tells us to do. Forgive people, uh, forgive our brothers, and love those who persecute us even. So this falls under that, I think. Um, I'd like to say that there's also a difference between forgiveness and justice, and... Forgiveness doesn't mean that you can't have justice for things. So if Kanye said some things that were defamatory and it could be there could be a lawsuit against that, well, that's justice for what he said. But you can also forgive what he said and try to redeem him. I think that's really the essence of the Christian message. 
And hopefully, the stuff that he says in the future will actually promote that and not the things that he said before. Well, until then, I'll see you next time.